Hey, you know how some guys brag about how much their knives cost? And, and hey, if you pay $300 for a knife, I'm sure it's a great knife, and, and you, should, you should brag about it. But I'm, I'm not like that. I, um, I do brag, of course, Every, everybody does. But, but I like to brag about how cheap stuff is. Like, maybe, maybe you get a, um, a $100 knife for 20 bucks. That's something to brag about. Or maybe in my case, like what happened this weekend. I am. Um, I don't know if you can see on my phone. Uh, hopefully you can. Right there in the middle, there's a um, case throwing knife. 52 bucks. Well, unbelievable. You know, you live in a subdivision. People have garage sales, right? You feel neighborly. You got to go to their garage sale. I felt real neighborly. What about, what about a case throwing knife? Original sheath? Not $52. Not, not $25. Not $5. $1. It was $2.50 and I talked them down. A dollar for a $52 knife. Well, I'm not saying that it's really a $52 knife. Obviously, some people might think it's a $1 knife <laughs> like me. But anyway, I had to get it. I'm a case knife collector. I have... I got, I got over 75 case knives, um, but I thought if I was going to show off this knife, then I, I wanted to show off maybe you guys in the bushcrafting community. Um, I, I've seen several videos where people were doing uh, reviews and talking about their case changers. Um, maybe you can see mine. It was a gift from my father in 1985. Um, I never have used it. I, I, I'd like to, and I have used, I've used, hey, I, I collect case knives, but they're not for just show. I mean, you can see in my, this is my, what I call my cool box, my case, my case collector's case, my case collector's case, <laughs> that's what it says on it. Anyway, but a lot of them I use, because, you know, they're there to look pretty, but on Mako, I carried that for several years. Um, my big buffalo knife, I got that when I was like in the ninth grade. Back when you were, I was allowed to carry, I was allowed to carry that knife to school. I mean, I even showed my teachers and stuff. Everybody thought that was cool. And it is cool. Um, I don't know. Little sod buster. I got a, I live in South Carolina. And um, in 1976, the Barnwell County. Um, I don't know if you can see on the blade. It says Barnwell County, South Carolina, number two. There's a number two engraved on it right there. I don't know how many they made. That's cool to have the second one, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, that's just some of my stuff. I really, what is this not to show off my, my case knife collection. It's really to show off my fabulous $1.50. My my one dollar fifty two dollar knife. It's cool, huh? I just had to brag to somebody. Some of you guys, nobody in my house is gonna understand why I'm bragging about this, but you guys will. So anyway, hey, one more thing before I go, since we're on the subject of knives, anyway, when I was pulling all this stuff out, I kind of um, I reef. I kind of refound a knife that I've had 15 or 20 years that I kind of forgot I even had. Um, you know, I like my American knives, but if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love my, my old Mora. I mean, uh, good blade, good, stays sharp. Only, you know, just got to keep it clean. Um, but anyway, I, re I really like it a lot, okay? And I, and I like my, 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 uh, my open all open L number eight too. Um, it's cool. European knives, you know, um, they're cool, you know, but, but check out this other knife. What I, what I got, it kind of reminds me of that, but it's a fixed blade. I, I'll show it to you. And so I, I don't know anything about it. Um, maybe somebody does. If I can, I can show you the name of it right there. But, um, it, it came in this very cool box. Um, 
Maybe you can see it. Hmm? Anyway, check out this pewter, pewter sheath. Huh? Huh? Pretty cool. And then the knife kind of reminds me of a. Um, it's almost it's a fixed blade knife, like I said, but it's kind of like a, a combo combination of my uh, Mora and my Opinel. See? Anyway, man, it sure is pretty. Um, I'll see if you can read what it says on there. Hey, uh, I don't know. I looked it up on the internet, and there there are a few things about it, um, but it's all in a language that I don't even understand the letters. I mean, like, it's not English, so so of course. I, I, I'm ignorant when it comes to European languages, I guess. Maybe it's Norwegian. I don't know. Swedish. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, there's some letters, though, that I've never seen before. But the knife's made in Norway, so maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's check out this, what, how, how this fits in the sheath. And then it has this little leather strap that snaps on over that knob. It's kind of heavy, probably heavier than what you'd want to wear around your neck. Um, you could definitely hang it on your on your pack or something like that. But I don't know if this is a. I mean, I can just I can obviously I can tell it's not a ten dollar knife. Um, I mean, just just the sheath is pretty pretty doggone cool. But the knife's very cool. I'm not, I'm going to start using it. Unless it's, you know, unless it's 500 bucks or something. Anyway, as you already know, I didn't pay that much for it. Because I'm a cheap guy, you know. Anyway, but the guy I bought it from didn't know anything about it either. That's why I got it so cheap. 20 bucks. Anyway, if you know anything about it, man, let me know. Thanks.